Hi everybody, it's Mrs. T. This is going to be a video about AIM number one. So if you have received a paper packet, you should flip to this page where it says that it is for AIM one. Uh, you do want to make sure that you are on the correct page, okay? So you want to make sure that you're on the page that says AIM number one. And um, if you are a fully virtual student, you do have this packet available in Google Classroom. So since this is the first video, um, I just want to make sure that you know that. Um, and in fact, that's where I got this packet to put it up into Smart Notebook to record this video. And we're just going to get going from here. So if you're in the right spot, uh, the first thing we want to do is just talk about what energy is. And energy, according to chemistry, is the ability to do work. And basically what this means is uh, that we can move something, push something, change its position, change its speed, speed it up, slow it down, something like that. When we're talking about the different forms of energy, don't forget that you've probably heard about kinetic energy, potential energy, um, nuclear, light, chemical, mechanical, We have lots of different forms of energy and a ton more that I didn't actually mention here. Um, when we're talking about the law of conservation of energy, remember that energy cannot be created or destroyed it just can change forms. So we can have energy change from chemical to electrical or from mechanical to kinetic or something like that, but we can't lose or gain or make new energy. Now, we have an acronym here that we're going to talk about, which is bonds barf, which means that if an atoms, I'm sorry, if a bond is broken, that means that energy is absorbed. And when a bond is formed, energy is released. So broken, absorbed, released when formed, bonds barf. When we're talking about changes in energy, Endothermic would be any reaction or process that absorbs energy overall. And exothermic would be any process that releases energy overall. Activation energy is the minimum amount of energy required to start a chemical reaction. All chemical reactions require activation energy and the minimum amount of energy required is this activation energy. If you have at least that much or more, the reaction can start. If you have less than that amount, the reaction cannot start. So that was the notes for aim number one. The next video that you'll look for would be the, would be the notes for aim number two. And then at the end of aim number two, you'll have a set of questions to work on.